Governor Charlie Baker outlining his $48.5 billion budget proposal for fiscal year 2023, detailing his priorities for his last year in office from yesterday's State of the Commonwealth Address. Western Mass News reporter Lindsay Kane is live for us in studio with those details. Lindsay? President Jordan, Governor Baker is promising a tax break for working families and seniors in order to respond to inflation and supply chain issues from this past year. This afternoon, he detailed his budget proposal for the next fiscal year, and there are specific increases in money for education, behavioral health systems, and housing. Ultimately, he says families will keep more money in their pockets this year. This revenue picture means that Massachusetts can afford to let our residents, especially parents, low-income families, and seniors, keep more of their hard-earned dollars. This is especially important at this moment when people are facing rising costs due to inflation, supply chain issues, and other factors. There will be an additional almost $600 million for students across the state and part of the Student Opportunity Act and over $150 million for college financial aid and educational grants. In yesterday's address, he also talked about the importance of mental health. That's why there is over $100 million slated for expanded services, including a 24-7 mental health helpline. The budget includes close to $550 million to support prevention efforts in the opioid epidemic, as well as treatment for those impacted. An additional, an additional $600 million will be provided for housing to help lower evictions and create more housing options for people. Now that tax break, there is a proposed almost $700 million in a tax break package that would benefit low income families, seniors and those renting homes. This budget proposal for fiscal year 2023 is up about a half a percent from this fiscal year. But he says there are no broad tax increases. The tax proposal we're filing today reduces the burden on low income residents and lets families keep more money in their pocket to pay for things like housing and childcare. We look forward to working with our colleagues in the legislature as the budget process moves forward and hope we can take action with them to provide this important tax relief in this year to our taxpayers. Governor Baker and Lieutenant Governor Polito have already announced they are not seeking a third term. Yesterday was the governor's eighth and final State of the Commonwealth Address. Live in studio, Lindsay Kane, Western Mass News.